Hi, Libra. Welcome to your week, uh, sorry, monthly tarot reading for April. This is for uh, Libra Sun and Rising. Uh, while this is a general reading, I try to be as specific as I can. I use a traditional Celtic crossbred. Um, a, a reading with me usually lasts about an hour or so, but I'm going to try to condense this into 15 minutes. Uh, there's a lot happening in April, okay? Um, so we're going to have to go. So I'm going to also at the end do one card for each week because there's just so much activity. Um, you'll notice I use a little bit of astrology, obviously tarot, and my guides for your reading. I'm here to spread uh, good energy and love, and I would be grateful if you could like and subscribe, which will help spread that energy. I'm also very new to YouTube, so uh, it would mean a lot to me, and that would be great. So, uh, real quickly, in brief, I'm just going to go over April real quick. We uh, obviously had that new moon in Aries recently kicking things off for April. That was on March 31st. Uh, one huge thing uh, that I want to point out is Jupiter is conjuncting Neptune and Pisces on the 12th of April. That hasn't happened since 1856. Now, this is a huge, huge and rare alignment. Uh, one of a kind, it's, you know, we're very lucky to live through this. Um, it's so incredibly rare. And it really just marks the beginning of a creative revolution. Um, you're going to just see a lot of focus in uh, the arts, imagination, uh, pioneering, pioneering movements. Uh, Freud was born in 1856. Tesla was born in 1856. I mean, it is the start of amazing, wonderful things to come. And it's just going to, we're going to feel that energy in April. Okay. We also have a full moon in your sign. Okay. That's on the 16th and that's amazing. Um, so you're going to feel a lot of energy around there. The sun is entering Taurus on the 19th. Um, and lastly, ah, solar eclipse in Taurus at the end of the month. See, I told you there's a lot of activity happening in, um, in April. So let's get started with your reading. I try to keep these to 15 minutes. Uh, and I usually go over, but that's not a big problem at all. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Libra. Okay, so really strong energy right now. You pulled uh, the Emperor. Higher the matter. Now, you're in a very powerful position, okay? And you are going to start off April in a very powerful position, and you will likely end up in a very powerful position at the end of April as well. The Emperor is the daddy of the tarot deck. As you can see, he has a long white beard for wisdom. He's wearing the crown for victory. He is in a red cloak for passion. You can see underneath that cloak, he is wearing armor. He is fully protected. He has the world in his hand. He is honestly the ruler. He is a daddy. He makes the calls. He calls the shots. And that is the energy that you're bringing in into April. And that's great because it looks like that you are finally in this position where you've been longing to be in for a while. Now, one thing that is interesting is that I feel like there is, you did pull the three of hearts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the three of swords. I knew I was saying something. I was like, what? You pull the three of swords. So that is, you know, that showed up in your challenge area. There could be something that happens in April. And I'm getting, uh, like, first week, I'm getting, like, the fourth. Um, and that is actually when Mars conjuncts Saturn in Aquarius. So I feel like there is going to be a moment of, I don't want to say weakness. There is going to be a moment where you may hear something that is emotionally, uh, that has an emotional impact on you something that causes a little bit of like heartache or something um i'm not quite sure what it is with the position that you're in it feels like it is almost something to look out for for yourself meaning that it is possibly 
self-inflicted. There could be something where you're in so much power, you did um, not hurt someone, but you had you may have said something or um, done something that could have offended someone that you know. Maybe it was a friend, maybe it was a partner. Um, and I don't want to say that offended is such a strong word, impacted, okay? And so that is the energy that I'm picking up for this specific situation. And that's the message that I'm getting. But I think that, uh, yeah, I think that it is something that will be nominal. So uh, it is also something that, um, interestingly, I'm getting the message that it could be something that had happened to you and that also put you in this position. Um, so, but either way, listen, like you are in a strong position and April is such a big month that you have to be ready for it. Okay. So that's good that you are in the iron throne. Um, also Libra, there is and another reason why I bring that up is that it could be someone close to you is, um, and it could be like a boss or a colleague as well, that, uh, is because the first, because, you know, this is huge Aries energy, but also, you know, the first, we have so much activity having in Aries for, you know, the first few weeks of April, and that is in your uh, house of partnerships, your seventh house. I do want to bring up that you did get the three of wands, okay? So you have been ready to move forward on this new journey. You're ready to move forward on some new initiative. Maybe it's a passion project. Maybe it's a job that you just got, a new job that you just got. You are, remember, in a position of authority and power right now. So you could have gotten a new job. You could have gotten, uh, been promoted to manager. There's something there that where it's, it's sort of like a new beginning, but also there's something there that where you are so driven, you want those things now. So now you may be looking to wanting to get a promotion or a new job title or even start your own business or brand, okay? That's really great. This is really interesting that you did pull uh, the five of ones, okay? So deep down inside, there is, and that's why earlier I said this was like maybe a little self-inflicted or whatever this, uh, the Three of Swords is because this is all about conflict and this is all about like challenge. And it's, if you can take, take a close look, you can see them all fighting. But if you take a really closer look, they're not even hitting each other. Their wands are hitting each other in the sky, in the air. They're just kind of like swinging their sticks around, meaning that whatever is happening uh, this challenge that you're going through, this conflict that you might be having with someone, it's so nominal that you have to be the better person and just kind of nip it in the bud, all right? You're in the power seat right now. You have the power to do that. You have the power to make this challenge or whatever. Um, it really is just like, um, I'm getting the image of like, an, like a little mouse. It's so like, you can just easily just get rid of it, right? Like it's not something that's, that's so impactful to you. Now, you did get the Empress, who we all love, right? Um, she represents Venus. You can see her gown is completely covered with the symbol of Venus. There's Venus all over this card. Uh, there's a lot of activity with Venus this month. Venus is entering Pisces in the first week on the 5th. And then, obviously, like Venus conjuncting Jupiter and Pisces. So... That's really great because you're coming from a place of that. Like you're coming from a place of where you have like a lot of love and affection. And, you know, I think that you were really celebrated in some way uh, in your recent past. And, you know, you were uh, really just enjoying life. And, you know, the Empress, one thing that I love about her is that she's really tuned into the earth and she's really tapped into like what's around her. And she's very aware, but she's also, uh, she represents like luxuries, right? She like... I would say mild indulgences. Venus is like the the planet of, you know, love and, uh, but it's also like the planet of like beauty and like and indulgences and, you know, going out and getting a spa treatment and, and, you know, eating, you know, pounds of cake and whatever, just treating yourself. Um, so it's, that's a good place because you're coming from a good place, but I uh, don't forget that you are in a little bit more of an authoritative figure right now where you will be going into, uh, in April. 
and you are in such a powerful position that people may be coming after you. <laughs> and I say that in the nicest way, and the, the reason why I giggle is because it is such a, you pull this in your card, in your future card, okay? And so, or your future area, um, the seven of wands, you can see that he is the only person in the entire deck that's wearing two shoes, two different types of shoes. He did not see this coming. And it is something where I feel like people are jealous of you, of your power and your authority. So moving forward into this month, you're going to get something where you are going to be the boss. You are going to be a huge boss. And there's huge boss energy around here. If it's not already happening now, it's going to happen soon. And when I say people are going to come after you, again, that's such a strong statement. It just means that you might have to defend yourself in some way. And I think the people that are coming after you, a lot of it is jealousy. But remember, remember what I said about this, the Three of Swords. It could be something where you may have said something uh, to someone that was... I don't want, just, it impacted them in a way where they were just like, ooh, he said that to me. So that's the other thing, you know? So I, you know, with, with great power comes great responsibility. And this is a month of power for you. So that is just something to keep in mind. Also, like, I think that if you did recognize that you did have, because you did have conflict, right? Uh, if you do recognize the fact that you may have said something or done something to someone close to you or even a colleague or someone that you're working with or someone that you're trying to partner with, if you do recognize that, that's great. And we need you to recognize that because, you know, in the end, um, and again, uh, because in the end, that makes you the stronger person. But again, if that does not resonate with you, the other message that I'm getting is that uh, someone said it to you and maybe it could have been someone that was jealous of you and it was someone who uh, sees your full potential and you know maybe there was like a little bit of en envy in any case the energy here is so I mean it's 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 interesting because it's a little little chaotic uh, it's a little chaotic and so you also pulled the four of swords this is telling you to heal a little bit and you do have support around you but this is really about just resting and, and preparing and getting over this heartache okay this is the three of swords we're moving to the four of swords here and everything happens in succession now you're entering a, a huge new cycle this month I'm not even going to lie, Libra. Huge, 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 huge cycle. You can see it. you got the world card, okay? And so this is really powerful energy. This is one of the top, in my opinion, cards. It is major arcana. Uh, this is just saying that, you know, you're coming to the end of, you know, one cycle of your life into the next cycle. And in the most powerful, magical way, you can see that she is holding the two batons that the magician had in the first card of the tarot deck, meaning you have come through to the end of your journey. You're starting a new cycle. And this is happening around you. The universe is really going to help you uh, achieve that and help you move forward. Um, I love this card. I love the world card. Uh, I really listen this is all about victory and success and you have that in your external factor. So there are things that are going to happen to help push you in the direction that you want to go. Okay. Not even need to go, but where you want to go. Now you want things to move fast. Libra. Wow. That's crazy. You want things to move really fast. You pull the Knight of wands. You could, uh, I think that you're hoping to travel too, but um, the Knight of Wands is really strong energy. It's really fire. It's like really, really, really fiery. Okay. And also, uh, I mean, this is probably the most, he is the most fiery, fiery. Okay. Of all, all the Knights. Um, Wands is fire. Knights is fire. This is double fire. So that's really interesting. Whatever you want, whatever you're trying to manifest right now in terms of your career, maybe even, you know, if you're here for a relationship, you want it to happen 
fast. You are ready to go and you are ready to transform. You're ready to transform. You're ready to get rid of like whatever that was in the past. <laughs> um, and look at you, this star. This is the final outcome. The star, you know, uh, huge Aquarius uh, card here, but the main takeaway is that this is the card of hopes and dreams. And this is the card that's saying all the stars are aligning for you, okay? This was the final outcome card. So when I said that you're entering this new cycle in your life and that you're in this powerful position and you're ready to move forward in this new journey, um, I'm not even joking. And it's all gonna start happening. You're gonna come into this position of, of uh, your, this position of power, this position of authority and you know, whatever you're putting all your energy toward, you're going to just start seeing all the stars aligning for you. Now, here's the thing, the major takeaway, again, another major takeaway is remember that, um, remember your place of power, remember who you are and remember that you, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay. So um, that is just a one small message I want to part with. I'm looking at the time. Okay. So like I said, I'm doing one card per week because there's so much happening this week. First week of April, uh, I mentioned there was that new moon in Aries and that was really, 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 really strong energy, energy in terms of your seven style health of partnerships and you pull the ace of wands. Now this ace you didn't pull any other aces here, but this is crazy because the ace is the biggest indicator of change, the biggest card that uh, ushers in, in change uh, in terms of like minor arcana. Ace is really powerful and this is your career. This is enterprise. Uh, the, expect some sort of, expect to see some sort of change starting to happen in your career. Uh, either it already, already ha I'm getting the message that it already happened and you're in the process of it. If it hasn't, you're going to start seeing things unfold, uh, seeds or seeds being planted the first week of April would be the second week of April. You pulled the hermit. Okay. Virgo card, but the hermit is really interesting. Second week of April, we know that, um, the Jupiter Neptune conjunction is happening in Pisces. We also know Mercury is entering Taurus. Now the hermit for you, listen. Spend some time alone. <laughs> all right. That is all I have to say. Spend some time alone because you need to do a little bit of soul searching. All right. I think that you're, even though you're in this powerful position, some, I'm getting the energy or I'm getting the message that some of it, for some of you Libras, this is very new to you, this power position, you know, whether you're the boss or, you know, the, uh, the manager or, you know, uh, the lead soccer coach, whatever it is like this for some of you, it's new to you. So in the process, you want to do a little bit of soul searching. The hermit is someone who has made it to the top, made, made, gone through all these accomplishments. And as you can see, he has a lantern, but with a lantern, you can only see so far into your future. Where do you find the, the rest? You look within, right? That's where the light is. Okay, third week of April. God, you are killing it here. Third week of April. Remember, we have that full moon in your sign on the 16th. The sun is entering um, Taurus on the 19th. And Taurus is your eighth house. And that is just crazy. Um that, that's like joint financial I mean, that's a lot of things, but I, just real quickly, Ace of Swords, let's just throw it out there. This is, a, expect the Libra, Libra full moon to bring you um, a, some sort of mental breakthrough, okay? And if it's not a mental breakthrough, you're going to have a breakthrough in work. Ace of Swords is so, so powerful. Remember I said Ace ushers in change in the best way possible. Look at that. Venus conjuncting Jupiter in Pisces, beautiful aspect. Oh my goodness, a silver eclipse in Taurus. That's the last week of April. You pulled the 10 of pentacles, okay? This is all about reaching success, abundance. You can see him sitting there chilling in his chair with his family in his house. Dogs are looking up to him. He has built his legacy. Wow, that is strong, major energy. So 
at the end of the day, Libra, you have an amazing, amazing April ahead. Um, please leave comments. Like if I want to hear what happens for you in, in, in April, you know, a lot of my clients, like they will sometimes even the next day after a reading, they'll, uh, call me or they'll, they'll text me like, yeah, this happened. You said this was happening. I love hearing that stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is your, you know, just be prepared for a very busy month, but a very enormously big month for you. A uh, great month for you. So, uh, if you like the reading, uh, don't, uh, please, uh, subscribe and like the video. It really helped me out. And thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next week.